the Caesar of concessions is back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be all about my lemonade recipes. I have been asked this question for years and I haven't really done a video on this yet. So I'm gonna be sharing some of my recipes, the equipment I use, the size of cups I use, and uh, just some general information about our business and how we sell our lemonades and things like that. So without further ado, let's start off with this. I use 24 ounce clear cups with a lid and a straw. This recipe will work for 32 ounce, no problem. We just found it better for our business to go with 24 ounce instead of 32 ounce because most people sell 32 ounce lemonades for six, seven, eight dollars. I can sell my 24 ounce for five dollars, undercut them on price, I have a little smaller product and outsell them two, three, four to one. Number one, because of the recipes and number two, because of the price point and cup size because my business is all about volume and not how much I can make per lemonade. I'd rather sell a thousand lemonades at five dollars instead of I don't know two three hundred at six or seven or eight dollars. Okay, so without further ado, here is the equipment that I use. We use a cutting board, okay, and a knife. We cut our lemons in half. I don't quarter them, it's just the way that I do it. My next piece of equipment that I use, this piece of equipment, this one I'm about to show you, is my original. I got it 13 or 14 years ago when we started. That's right. This is what we use for over a decade, and we sell a lot of lemonades we have many locations okay and so and we do many events this is just my favorite piece of equipment i have ever owned they hardly ever break and when they do i go buy a new one for ten dollars that's it you may like a wedger you may like a smasher and that's great and that's fantastic and, and that's you know, what you want for your business, for me, this is what works for us, and this is what we use and what we will continue to use. Okay, so here's how we do it. We lay out the cutting boards, um, and then we just cut our lemons in half, put the half a lemon in here, juice it, put it in there. So, the first recipe, I'm gonna share with you is our regular lemonade. Okay, so what we do for this is we use a, <clears throat> excuse me, a quarter cup of sugar. Then we cut the lemons in half, juice them, drop the rind in our shaker cup. Now before I continue on, we call these shaker cups. I do not know what they're really called. You can buy them at Walmart, Target, grocery stores, whatever. They're a 32 ounce plastic container with a screw on lid. Costs you about $1.50. Uh, I've had some that have lasted me two, three, four years. Fantastic investment for us. And uh, don't need to pull coals in it, nothing like that. Um, that's what we use. So you, we cut the lemon in half, after we put the quarter cup of sugar in, drop half the lemon in there. Then I take the other half of lemon, juice it, squeeze it, drop that other half of lemon in there. So I have a whole lemon in a cup, two halves. Then we add the ice, then we add the water, then we shake it up, and then I pour it into the serving cup of the 24 ounce cup that we are going to use. I put the lid on it, put a straw in it, or set the straw on the side rather, still packaged, and hand it out for 
uh, we have less than a dollar into that. And that is just great for our business. And uh, that's a price point I like. And I like serving them for $5 out the window. Okay. Now, before I get on with our other recipes, I don't use any snow cone flavoring or any other types of flavoring. The reason for that is there's nothing against that. If that's how you make your lemonades and want to sell them, that's great, fantastic. I hope it works for you and I hope you sell a ton of them. But for us, we use that against our competition because most people do use flavorings. So we use fruit to flavor our lemonades, okay? And so we will put that on our signage that we don't use syrups of any kind. And this is what we use. And, and the beautiful look of these lemonades with the fruit in them outsells the syrup lemonade. We've had, you know, I digress here a minute, guys. Um, we've had stands literally next to us. Beautiful banners, smashers, wedgers. You know, they have all different varieties of um, flavorings that they can add, you know, whatever syrup they're gonna use, we outsell them consistently because we use fresh fruit and our price point, okay? <clears throat> okay, my next one is our strawberry lemonade. So the base is exactly the same. Here's what we do. We put a quarter cup of sugar, inside of our shaker cup, okay? Then I cut the lemon in half, juice it with this wonderful piece of equipment, drop the rind in there. Take the other half a lemon, juice it, drop it in there. Now, what we do is we buy frozen strawberries from either Sam's Club, Walmart, wherever, and we muddle them prior to selling. We, we put them in a container, okay? And we put them in a container where we can put ice underneath them to keep them cool. Because you don't want these like getting all hot and stuff when you're outside at an event. So we put them in a container and we muddle them with a muddler and then we sprinkle them with sugar and then we will taste it. Now, when you're muddling these, you don't want them totally liquefied. You want parts of the strawberry floating around in there because the presentation is absolutely fantastic. That's something that syrups cannot provide for you. Pieces of strawberry floating around in this drink. Now, how much strawberries do we add? That is up for you to determine and what, how strawberry tasting you want your le strawberry lemonade to be. So let's just say, Start off with two tablespoons and put that in there and taste it. Maybe you want more, maybe you want less. That is up to you as a vendor to determine what you want your lemonades and how strawberry you want them lemonades to taste. So two tablespoons of the frozen strawberries that have already been thawed and muddled up and not completely into a paste, mind you, we want pieces of the strawberry in the lemonade. We put them in a shaker cup with ice and water. Shake it up. Pour it in our 24 ounce cup. Put a lid on it. Put out the window. That is $6. We charge a dollar more for our, uh, when we add our fruit. The strawberry lemonade is absolutely fantastic. It looks brilliant uh, with the piece of strawberry floating in there. You know what's great when you see people eating the strawberries out of the lemonade. So you get all the nutrients from the fruit, no syrup. It's absolutely fantastic. And that is why we outsell our competition two, three, four to one. I don't care what their setup looks like. I don't care if they have smashers, wedgers, etc. Doesn't matter. This product outsells our competition along with our price points. Now next, sorry about my dog in the background. Now next we have my triple berry threat. This one is incredible and the color of it is beautiful and it's something that cannot be matched with any kind of syrups. So again, 
Take the lemon, cut it in half, juice it with a quarter cup of sugar first, drop the lemon in there, okay? Then drop the other half a lemon in there after you've juiced it. Next, we'll add our triple berries. What these are are frozen berries that you can get from any grocery store, Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club, whatever. Blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. We muddled those up again in this nether container, sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them, taste it. Tastes good? Yeah, okay, perfect, beautiful. Add a couple tablespoons, and like I said, I use two tablespoons. You can use three, you can use four, you can use one. It is up to you to determine how flavorful you want the berries to be inside of your triple berry threat. Call it whatever you want. That's what we call it. Do you want to use my name? I don't care. Call it whatever you want. Our triple berry threat. Shake it up. And the color, the color is an absolute beautiful purple blue color. And it is just tastes absolutely amazing. The triple berry threat is a fantastic. And you're getting all the antioxidants from all these berries. And again, no syrup is providing that to your customers. And they absolutely love it. Guys, if my customers didn't like it, I wouldn't be selling it. We are in business for a reason, to make money and provide for my family. These recipes are tried and true for 13 to 14 years of me selling these. And I can't tell you how many lemonades I sold through the years. It's, it's uncountable, honestly. I hope these recipes help feed you and your family and make your business just boom. This is the Caesar of Concessions. Out.